Hello dear friends, this is Ewan Humphreys and I'm glad to be here with you to share with you a moment a word of truth, a word of God. And it's a ten minute message. I bring it to you with the thought and the prayer that the Lord will bless it to your heart. I hope you like my t-shirt. <laughs> as far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. Praise God. As a wonderful scripture found in Psalm 103. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our sins and our transgressions from us. I want you to know, Christian, that your sins are forgiven forever. All of them. All that you've ever committed, all that you ever will commit, all of them are forgiven and under the blood. Because the Bible says that the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. And so I'm grateful for that. And I hope and pray that you know that you're going to heaven. If you're not sure you're going to heaven, I want you to pray a brief prayer with me and ask God to forgive you and Jesus to come into your heart. And the Bible says over in Romans, the 10th chapter, in verse 13, For whosoever shall call, upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. <clears throat> it starts out by saying, The word is nigh thee, in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith that we preach. That if thou shalt confess with thy, your mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart God has raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture said, Whosoever believes on him, on Jesus Christ, shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is, is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, shall be saved. Whosoever, I mean you, I want you, <clears throat> if you're not sure you're saved, if you're not sure your sins are forgiven and your name is written in heaven, I want you to pray a brief prayer with me. I often do this on this, on this service because I believe it's the will of God and the word of God. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved, forgiven forever. So I want you to pray a brief prayer with me if you need to do so. And this minute from your heart, asking God to forgive you and Jesus to come in your heart. Pray it out loud if you will, but pray it from your heart and mean it as best you can. Say, Dear Father, Holy God, I believe in Jesus. I believe He died for me. I believe He rose again. I believe he paid for all my sins. I believe he's coming back. I pray that you will come in my heart and that you will live in me. Praise God. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, our living Lord. Amen. Amen. If you prayed that prayer a minute, your name's written in heaven and you're saved forever. And then the Bible teaches that if we love Christ, we'll live right. Love Christ and you'll live right. And that's important. And how do we to live? We're to live because now we want to live to please Him. And when we fail, it's all right. We're under the blood and we're just forgiven and we come back. And we keep going. For the Lord is there to help us and He loves you. The Bible says in Romans in the uh, in the I might, so, excuse me Ephesians in the fifth chapter it says this in verse 22 put off concerning the former conversation the old man which is is according to the lust the deceitful lust and be renewed in the spirit of your mind and that you put on the new man which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. So you see, when you become a Christian, you put off the old man. The old man is that man in nature of sin that you are born with. 
Everybody born in this world born into sin. And in their darkness they're walking in dark. They need the light to come. The light is Christ Jesus. He said, I'm the light of the world. He that lives in me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. The Lord is your strength, your hope, your help today. He is your Savior. He wants to be your Savior. So praise God. He is your Savior if you believe in Him. And you've taken off the old man. And you put on the new man. Which after God is created in His likeness. And now then your wants are changed. You don't want to do the things you used to do. But now you want to do the things you ought to do. And here's some of the things we ought to do. Wherefore, put away lying. Speak every man truth to his neighbor. And learn to speak truth instead of lies. Be angry, yea, and sin not. Let not the wrath go your sin. The sun go down upon your wrath. Let not the sun go down upon it. If you're angry at somebody, be sure you get that out of your heart before God and ask Him forgiveness so that you'll have that all taken care of. It's in the blood. Oh, need to give place to the devil. Cast out the devil. Tell him to get out. Every once in a while, almost, yea, daily, I say to the Satan and the devil, you get out of my life. Get out of my family. Get out of all God's family, all over the world. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Holy One of God, go to His feet and wait for His command. I'm just like that. And I, have to, I pray that often. Neither give place to the devil. Let him that steal, steal no more, but work with his hands, which is good, so he'll have to give to others. Let no corrupt communication come out of your mouth. And grieve not the Holy Spirit whereby you're sealed unto the day of redemption. Grieve not the Holy Spirit that lives in you. Let all bitterness and wrath, clamor and evil speaking be put away with you with all hatred. Put away these things. That's the old man. Here's what you did. Here's the new man. And be ye kind one to another. Kind one to another. And all tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake has forgiven you. And above all, you're to love your neighbor, even as yourself. This is important, and this is the way we're to live. To live for God, who gives to us everything we need and everything we have. And so we praise God for it. We praise God. Live. Live in you before your family as a Christian. Howard Hendricks has said, if your Christianity does not work at home, don't export it. If you have the right kind of religion, it'll work in the home, in your family. And you can then export it. You can tell it out to others. And let others know that God is yours and you are His and He is your light forever. And so look to Him. Trust and obey. For there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. Oh, in fellowship sweet, let us sit at His feet. Or we walk by his side in the way Where he sins we will go What he says we will do Never fear, only trust and obey Trust and obey For there's no other way To be happy in Jesus But to trust and obey God bless you, dear friends God loves you he loves you dearly. He'll never cease to love you. And I love you. And pray God's blessings on you. In Jesus' name. Amen.